the King Cobra, and the Inland Taipan. We got some new Alapids here at Venom Central. It's coming up. Hey, Dan McCarty, Radic, Stephen Stewart Music, Sean Hyland, Sean Black, Vicky Richter, thank you, babe, Austin Smith, Leonard Reccia, I want to thank you all so much for your generous support to the Venom Central channel. What's up, Venom Squad? Hey, today we're going to show you guys a couple new snakes we got in. Um, and I've been holding off on the Alapids and... Um, because I wanted to make sure I had my anti-venom and I had everything in place before I start busting out of lapids, guys. But um, I actually went and picked up a new King Cobra. <laughs> and the other one that we had, the little one that, that, that I got eating and did the videos on, that one we, we I actually placed it with a buddy. He's going to raise it and everything because I want to raise a male. I, I just, I love male King Cobras. And if I'm going to spend a couple of years growing them and getting them big, I want to bond with the male king. And um, and you actually do have a relationship with king cobras. It really does happen. They get to know you. And um, so I go to see a buddy of mine, and he's a guy that produces king cobras. And I said, I, I, I want a male. And and this this guy is one of the most talented snake guys that I know. And and he's he, he's just he's truly as gifted when it comes to breeding animals and, and and working with animals. I swear to God, he talks to him. <laughs> we call him the King Cobra Whisperer, but he's a very talented man. But anyway, so I go to see my buddy, right? And uh, he's got the king lined up for me. He goes, "Come on, Willie, man, I got a nice male for you. He's big. He's probably four foot already, you know." So I go to pick up this King Cobra, and I got to drive a little bit to go get it. And I'm in the snake room and I notice a bunch of little tubs stacked up. I'm like, what do you got going on over there, Big Daddy, you know? Oh, the, the, the damn Taipans keep laying eggs. He goes, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. But he actually places animals with labs and stuff the way I do. But he <laughs> he goes, I got some, I don't know what he goes. He goes, I know you don't do a lapids no more. So I go, well, hold on now. <laughs> Let me see what you got there. He goes, take some, pick some out, you can have them. So my buddy gave me a beautiful pair. Actually, I got to pick them out of captive bred and born inland taipans. Oh, and they are so cool. They are spectacular. What do you guys see them? They are beautiful. And they're 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 newborns, they're about that big, but they're already eating, they're already jamming, they're doing really good. But um, and I want to show you this new king. And we're gonna do some videos like individually on these animals and get on the venom and get on captive care and all of that. I've got a lot of experience with taipans. I've actually bred inland taipans before. I've, I've produced eggs out of them. Um, I've worked with all the taipans, the PNGs. The, I mean, I've, I've, I've got a lot of experience with taipans and I've got a lot of experience with king cobras. So we're going to do videos later on, guys, of, you know, of just each species and make them an educational video. Today, I just want to bust them out, show them to you and uh, show you our new little king and He's a pisser, <laughs> and I've been trying to bond with him a little bit, but uh, he's he's a pistol, but uh, he's really cool. He's beautiful male Malaysian King Cobra, captive bred and born, eats rodents right off the tongs. He's, he's done. He, he, he's just he's perfect. But um, guys, we did, my wife's going, bangs. <laughs> we did some feeding earlier, and um, tonight was uh, uh, the bittest night, and um, so we fed all the big bittest, and I'm going to tell you something. The venom cam strikes, the fangs in your face, are spectacular. <laughs> the gaboons were just wild animals tonight. I mean, I could not believe some of the strikes we got, and the strike sequences are just amazing. These are some of the best gaboon strikes you're ever going to see. What do you guys see them? Because I was through the roof when I was doing it. You guys are going to love it. So stay to the end of the video for the fangs in your face, because they are some hum dingers.
Okay guys, this is our new little King Cobra. Little, well, he's probably already pushing four foot. <laughs> he's got some size on him already. Oh, there you go, baby. Yeah, oh, that, there you go. Into here, Jim. He is the cutest little king. Now, this is the Malaysian King Cobra. This is a captive, bred and born baby. And uh, he is just gorgeous. He's got a nice, big orange throat. Hey, buddy, look at the, there you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> but we're going to raise this guy. We're going to turn him into a monster. This guy is going to be a beast. You watch. I'll turn him into a 15-footer. But he's already got some good size on him. Hey, don't look at me. Look at Miss Dina. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, this is one of the few snakes that you will actually get a bond with. They'll get to know your appearance. They'll get to know who you are. They'll pattern you. They will watch you. Okay, guys, just a sneak peek at a couple of our little baby inland taipans. Now, this is Oxyronis microlepidotis. Now, this is known to be the most toxic snake in the world. And, and their venom is just crazy toxic. And, it, and it, is, it is the most venomous land snake in the world. But what's neat about the, uh, about the damn inland, the inland taipans, is these guys get so yellow with a darker colored head they're just beautiful as adults and they change colors they go through a winter phase color where they where, where they damn near turn black and then in the summer they warmer temperatures they turn yellow to reflect heat but it's they're just gorgeous snakes but i'm gonna tell you i've got a lot of experience with inland taipans and and these guys are just you hear taipan you think of course you see this guy he's perpetual motion um you think very flighty dangerous uh hostile snake and actually they're not the inlands are really chill they're damn near like a pet king snake i mean and i've had some six seven footers they're they're actually a very docile secretive snake and their their demeanor is very docile um they're nothing like um the papua new guineas or the damn coastal taipans which can be pretty pretty grumpy um these guys are pretty chill but um, this will turn into an impressive snake. It'd be, it'd be five and a half, six feet long, yellow, 
a darker colored head. Sometimes their heads even turn yellow. But you know what's so cool about the Inland Taipan? And, and the, they call them the fierce snake. And it's not because of their attitude. It's because of their venom being so toxic. But what's neat about them, the venom of this snake, it is designed to kill only warm-blooded prey. It's designed to kill warm-blooded animals. So that's why it will work so well on humans. <laughs> I mean, I mean, why this thing was created so venomous is, is just a mystery. Why it's just that toxic. But they say that a bite from one adult can kill a hundred men. And I believe it. <laughs> I mean, but just a little short one, guys, just to let you get a peek at one of our little baby inland taipans that we just got in. Um, we're going to do a full-length video on a bunch of information on the inland taipan. Um, we're going to do everything from venom to captive care to everything about them. Hey, guys, just so you can get a, another look at. Now, this is our male, and we've, we've got a pair of these little inland taipans. And... Just can get a little bit of a closer look at him, and and this guy's already kind of, it, it, of course we we've been keeping him a little warm, you know we've been keeping him about 80 degrees, and his head is already turning yellow. <laughs> he's already getting uh he he's going into his summer colors, but uh the other day I had it kind of cool in the snake room, and their heads had turned completely black. It was really cool, just just to watch these guys change color. It's just amazing what they do, but uh this is the little male. And I wish you guys could see this in person. They, their heads and their scales, it, it looks like somebody hit them with lacquer. I mean, they're so shiny. It's just a beautiful, brilliant snake. But these are definitely nothing to play with. And even though they are docile and they're 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 not a a a, a bad grumpy snake like a black mamba, they are definitely need nothing but the utmost respect because one bite from this and it's game over and we have the proper channels we've got anti-venom available we've got we've got the right stuff because i wouldn't keep this this type of creature if i didn't have a damn security plan <laughs> because this is one that you just do not keep without having anti-venom and having a damn bite protocol in place because that's gonna kill you with no doubt. I mean, a bite from an inland and you're done. And you're done. You might as well just sit down and say your prayers. But uh, but interestingly enough, I mean, they don't kill a bunch of people. I mean, I don't think there's any, any recorded deaths from inland taipans. And that's because they come from such a remote area that nobody ever comes in contact with them. And they're not grumpy. They're just a really chill snake. Now this guy can mature into a, you know a six foot animal and be just brilliant yellow and gorgeous. They can be a really beautiful beautiful animal. But just so you guys get a quick peek at the at the baby inland taipans, and uh, we're gonna tuck these guys back away. Hang on, fangs in your face is coming. Get a little tap. Oh, there you go. Good shot, Bubba. Oh, nice strike. Nice strike, buddy. Come on, little girl. Nice. That was nice. First Venom Cam appearance. You hungry or what? Oh, there it comes. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, you're gonna bite it and release it, huh? so fast I really didn't even get to see it. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Man, she hit that thing to that was stupid fast. <laughs> All right, big girl. There's your prize. This is a very. <laughs> I couldn't even. I couldn't even get the words out of my mouth, and she's grabbing it. I was about to say, this is a very hungry puff adder right now. <laughs> All right, it's time for some gaboon action. <laughs> what was that? The rat wasn't even in there yet. Come on now, give me a good bang. Oh, 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 oh that was awesome. She came up over the top of that thing from being underneath it. Oh, that was cool. Lately, he's just been eating them. He, didn't, he ain't been striking her since I put him in with the female. Oh, 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 oh it's just one of them nights, y'all. Everybody is just full of piss and vinegar. He hasn't struck a rat in like two months since I put him in with the female. He's been eating. I just lay him down in there and he eats him. But he hasn't been aggressive feeding here lately. I see that snake is already in kill mode. Look at that pupil expanding. Oh! <laughs> cool I watched her pupil just go from a slit to get real big oh that was neat <laughs> oh it's just a it's one of them nights y'all let's go this way and this guy does him crazy overhead strikes oh wow Oh my God, these things are just amazing. Hey guys, how about that little king, huh? He is adorable. And the little baby Taipans. Hey, but next video, I'm gonna show you guys the new Rhino Vipers. But the Inland Taipans, just, they are so gorgeous. I mean, when you see them in person, they look like somebody just lacquered them down. <laughs> They're really neat, but we're going to do videos, guys, some, some, some full educational videos on the Taipans and, and, and the King Cobras. We'll, we'll, we'll feed them. They'll eat right in front of you. They'll, and we're going to do all that stuff. This is just a, a quick one just to show them to you. And, um, but the fangs in your face. Oh, my God. There were some good ones. I'm going to tell you, in this video, we didn't even plan this video. This, I was feeding the snakes, and I'm used to doing it with the Venom Cam for the Big Bittus. This was supposed to be the weekend video. And I'll tell you, um, they were so amazing. I was like, come on, we, we got to get this up. We, <laughs> I want the squad to see these Gaboon Strikes because they were so crazy. But, hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the V logo and subscribe now. And this is Willie from Venom Central checking out.
later.